action! Just put your mind to it and then you can do it. And the most talented and the most craziest. Chasing fame and fortune and still at school. Who has been helping you practice? No one. He's not one of the Beckhams, he's mine. Busy Kids is one of the UK's largest child talent agencies, run by No Nonsense boss, Debbie Clark. Cute as anything, but I just don't think she's ready. No. Tots. Eat the cake. <laughs> Teens. Mum, <laughs> oh my God. And some of the powerhouse parents behind them. I have no idea where Ava gets it from. Remember to make sure that you smash it, OK? Bye, go do some work. Pretend to be interested in what they're saying. The agency guides them through every stage of their journey. I want to thank the Academy for giving me this wonderful award. You have got me here tonight. I've got some good news for you. No way. Oh, Nella got the job. <laughs> but the road to stardom can be a rocky one. She's still got the right hump, but the show must go on. It's complete bedlam. No! I need 100% more energy. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, but you might not get the job. That's life. For the lucky few, dreams do come true. Oh, Mum, that's me! Oh, well, sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so famous. What's the number one word? Humble. Next question. one of the only industries you can start working in within just days of being born. Oh my God. So she's six weeks old? Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you a business card. OK. Sure. If you get some nice shots of her. Yeah. One woman who's got an eye for star quality is Busy Kids owner, Debbie Clark. Hello, Busy Kids. Hello. If I'm in a shop and there's seven kids in a line, I could spot which ones I could work with and I know will deliver. And it's not what they're doing. It's just a way about them. Since she was born, I've constantly got stopped by people saying that she's got beautiful big eyes. Um, and people kept saying, does she model, does she model? Every baby's beautiful, especially in the eyes of the parent. But it's more important that a child has character and confidence. Being one of the UK's largest agencies means there is a lot of competition. I've had parents email scans to me, trying to get on the books, but that's pushing it a little bit. <laughs> Here's an embryo. <laughs> the agency receives a staggering 100 baby applications per day. That's over 20,000 a year. The biggest job we've had is 28 grand for a Johnson's advert. So that went worldwide. It is big business. Take a seat if you want from him. So we're going to have some fun here. Today, Debbie is hosting a photo shoot that is going to launch a new form of child portraits. <laughs> The baby cake smash is really big in America. It's like a big trend. These images are flying around all over the place, social network. I see them on my Twitter feed all the time. You know, I like to keep fashionable. They're using our kids this time, so it should be a fun shoot. They love it. Oh! Ooh. Debbie has particularly high hopes for one of her newcomers, 10-month-old Ornella. Are you excited? Huh? About your photo shoot today? Yeah? When she came in through these doors, it's like, you ain't going home. She's got that air about her and the hair about her. <laughs> Most people think it's a wig and they'll come and go, is it a wig? No. Yes. Forget the hair though, she's just such a great character. Yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, no, she's doing that. <laughs> she's trying to pull her hat off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your face. Mum, Amma and Ornella live in Lynn, East London. Amma believes her little girl was born a star and is destined for big things. It's your hair that makes you unique, isn't it, Bambi? This is the magic beans. Supermodel Cara Delevingne has her brows. No! But Ornella has her fro. Which model would you like Ornella to aspire to be? Mm. Tyra always say to all her models. Smile. Smile from the eyes. <laughs> I'm planning and hoping that I can save up so she can go to a private school with her modeling money. Used to live up there. Um, we used to have tower blocks, but they broke them down, so now we have estates and it's fun to live here. 
and I know some of the people that live there. We all grew up together, so lots of memories. So hopefully Onella will get those memories too before we live in our mansion when she's making millions of money. <laughs> if I got paid lots of money, I'd buy like a big mansion. If I had a million pounds, I'd buy a white convertible Mercedes. My mum and Maserati, me a mansion, two dogs. I'd have shoes with like this big diamond on them. A big, big, big Lego set. More than this big. A little cottage for the dogs. I'd buy you a dog. I'd buy everyone a dog. All right, let's stop with the dogs. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whilst the baby cake smashing shoot is getting messy, in the waiting room, it looks like Ornella has peaked before she's even started. It's a power nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, sleeping beauty. Hey, kissy lips. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is not happening. I don't want the journey to be a waste. Let's see if we can get at least one. Should be one. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sit them all together. In a bit to help her out, them. photographer Anna gets the other babies involved. OK. Oh. Yeah. Hey, really? <laughs> Baby cake smashing may be a hit in the US. <laughs> But it could take a little longer to catch on over here. Hey, baby! It's a really difficult age. There's a lot of clients that don't deal with kids. Sort of 15 months to three years is a no-no. That's why. I think when you're a supermodel, you're not always going to get it right. Tara Banks did have bad days, still have bad days, and will continue to have bad days because that's the only way we can improve in life. <laughs> Little one, where do you go to dream? To a place we all know, the land of make believe. Another parent who believes his eight year old daughter Millie has exactly what it takes to make it is Bobby G of 80 Supergroup Books Fizz. I know my dad's dance move. Ready? And then you gotta speed it up, and then you gotta slow it down. Cause if you believe that a love can hit the top, you gotta play around. And then it's all when it comes to time, it's making your mind up. <laughs> I'm probably not a natural entertainer. I, um, I don't know what, I was probably a bit shy of the quiet, stuff like that. But uh, there's lots of memorabilia. I'm still collecting it. Most of it now contains Millie, things that she's doing. She's taken over from where I've left off. Do you think she could get bigger than you? Oh, she already thinks she's bigger than me. <laughs> she already knows more than I do. Four, five, six, don't look at Daddy. One, head, step for change. The driving step. force behind Millie's career is Mum Heidi, who joined Books Fizz in 1993 and still tours with them today. I was on stage till I was seven and a half months and I remember certain songs upbeat, she would be going for it in my tummy, you know, so she's been on stage even before. You handing up here? What do you want? <laughs> yeah. We think Millie's very talented. Obviously, as parents, you, you kind of do. Yeah. And she takes after me in that. What? Rubbish. <laughs> so who's better at singing, Mum or Dad? Daddy, because he's been singing longer and... He's won more things than Mummy because Mummy hasn't won anything. Because I'm happy. Having a recording and dance studio at home like means that Millie can practice daily. Because You've I'm got to have some natural ability. I mean, if you can't sing, then all the best singers in the world, you can improve it, but yes. you won't be the best singer in the world. Yeah. She has to work really hard now and hone her skills. Born, your Abby just fine. I have been to two auditions. One I got and one I sadly didn't. My dream job would be playing Matilda on Broadway and the West End and playing it for life. For life? Are you going to be eight years old for life? Oh, I 
forgot about that. If people give up their dreams, they'll never know if they can do it. Well, I'd like to be a Lego inventor. My dream job would be to do anything on stage. Me too. That would just be amazing, like doing a catwalk for Mona Lisa or my Sony or Dior. Dog walker, a farmer. I don't know. Just put your mind to it and then you can do it. Another person on Debbie's books who has dreams of making it big is 10-year-old Jenk. If you send 10 kids' faces over with Jenk in them, he'll get selected for casting, won't he? Yeah. He could pass a sort of Mediterranean, mm. but he can also sort of cross over and just that yeah. boy next door sort of thing. And live while we're young. He's charming, charismatic, he's like gold dust, really. Having been on the books for seven years, Jenk is somewhat of a veteran. To have one on our books that we've got to know in and out over the years and be so versatile, that ticks all the boxes for us and for clients. Part of Jenk's success and winning formula is due to his supportive family and in particular his powerhouse mum, Carmen, who was previously a managing director at Goldman Sachs. I spent most of my life in banking and the pace can be quite demanding. Uh, but I think it parallels motherhood and certainly uh, my son's life in performance because there's just as much to do doing that as there uh, was in banking. <laughs> this is Jenk's calendar for the week. Lessons in music theory, uh, lessons in singing. Extra, extra, hey look at the headline, historical news is being made. He does lessons in tap, lessons in four instruments, guitar, piano, drums. Lessons in music theory and saxophone. My mom gives me the best of everything she can. If I want to learn something, my mom will get the best teacher possible to do that. Tonight he's got a drama class uh, with Bryn Williams, who's like the great, 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 great grandson of Shakespeare. And Jenk loves Shakespeare, and so he thinks Bryn is like the second coming. Total emptiness, that moment, just before he chooses to do it. To be, or not to be. Right, I didn't hear that. Talent is difficult to define, and so... Um, is it natural talent that you're born with, or, or is, is it, it talent that's been developed over the yeah. course of time with great teachers and putting a lot of effort in? That is the question. Being taught by the best teachers in the business does not come cheap, but it's all part of the master plan. I am flabbergasted by how many things that my wife can organise to fit into a day. And Carmen has global ambitions for her offspring. Are you familiar with the schedule? Uh, no, it's far too complicated for a simple orthopaedic surgeon <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> At the moment, agency all-rounder Jenk attends school in London, but that's all about to change. How many more days left of school? Three. <gasps> oh my God, only three days left. We'll see a Every lot less way. of him, sadly for us, but I think you seem very happy. Very. <laughs> Before he goes to boarding school, Jenk is on a mission to launch his very own business in Mayfair. Hey everyone, iCool Kids Studio. <laughs> Bank by mum and dad, iCool Kid will be a website that will feature his very own clothing line, as well as hosting TV broadcasts by Jenk. I think every kid wants to find their cool, and I think I Cool Kid is about having all kids find their cool. What's your role with I Cool Kid? I don't know. I don't have a role. It's Carmen and Jenk's thing. They run ideas by me to say, what do you think? Yeah. Um, and whatever I say, they usually ignore, so <laughs> it's I fine. That. I just usually just smile and nod and pay the bills. <laughs> This is a picture of Cenk when I was at the airport checking in and I only have two hands, so I put him in my hand luggage. <laughs> this is a, a great picture of Cenk when he was um, in the West End a few months ago. 
Uh, this just sits by Jenk's bed um, every night and it has pictures of the day he was born. Um, it has pictures of um, he with uh, his daddy and his mom. That would be me. <laughs> I come from an Italian background and so I always wanted a very large family. But we had a series of miscarriages, uh, one before Jank and then several after Jank. And it just be got to the point, um, I think the emotional roller coaster that you go through. So we uh, just came to terms with that and then thought about, well, we'll put all of our heart and soul into the one that we have. And so that's what we've done. We've, we've overcommitted. <laughs> In Leighton, Amma is preparing Ornella for her second casting. When you found out you were pregnant, yes. how did you feel? In the beginning, I, w I wasn't very happy with the situation because I wanted to, you know, be married and have my own place and kind of be prepared for motherhood, but it didn't happen that way. <laughs> Ornella's dad doesn't um, live here. He is um, a long distance relationship that we're in. Um, he lives in Africa. We're actually going to see him at the end of the year, so it'll be the first time that she meets her dad. What's up? Hey. Ornella, I can't wait to see you, okay? Can't wait. All right. I love you. If today's casting goes well, it won't pay for the airfare to see her dad, but it will raise her profile. Thank you. Sophia Webster, one of the UK's most sought-after shoe designers, has recently launched her mini range and is looking for seven models for her season lookbooks and ad campaigns. We want kids who are on brand, have great energy, who can like make our shoes look really great. So I guess they have to look kind of cute as well. For Debbie and the agency, having her kids in this campaign will be a real coup. Make sure that you smash it, OK? But the bigger the brand, the bigger the expectation. Worn by pop stars and celebrities, and with a hefty price tag reaching up to nearly £1,000 for adults, the competition for the job is tough. You've got to go out there and do better than all the other girls and boys, because you want to win this, don't you? I can easily win because I'm cute. Would you be able to turn and face me? That's it, really good. Fingers crossed, the one we go inside, she'll be great because my stomach is really turning at the moment. <laughs> Do you want her to sit or? Yeah, sit? sitting would be fantastic. <laughs> so it's adorable. I try and take a picture with. Sensing that there is a lot at stake, Ornella performs Great, well. thank you. It's really helpful. It's very competitive. Everybody thinks their kid <laughs> has got what it takes because everybody was sizing up each other's child. <laughs> Our bus is coming, we're gonna miss it. <laughs> I like standing and sitting beside the camera and then I get my photo taken. I just love it. Of course, you always wanna be the best, but there's never, like, for me, there's never any tension in the room. I don't really make much friends because they don't look very nice and really, I, I just don't make friends that much. He, Oliver does, but I don't. Yeah, you have to like aim high, just think, if I want this then I've got to really try for it and I've got to do my best. Absolutely. And positive like, thoughts, for it. positive outcome. Yeah. It's week two of the summer holidays and one of the agency's busiest times. As well as having lots of new recruits, there are lots of interesting jobs in the inbox. It's a good one in. Tyreek, the little lad yeah. singer, is doing a music video. 20 kids, female lead in our video. Like Justin Bieber, 13 year old Tyreek was discovered singing on YouTube. He could end up really big, you know. There's no bigger stars in the world right now than your Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber. And to have an up and coming star over here, 13 years old and wanting 20 of my children to appear on a video with him, uh, to me, that's absolutely perfect. That's the call I'm waiting for. So they're looking for a girl to sing as well? On his track, yeah. Must be able to sing pop R&B. So straight away, Kyan. She looks like a lead girl as well. She really does. Somewhere on the 
worst. <laughs> I've been in Busy Kids for about two years and I was about seven and I did a tyre safety advert. Have you been driving around much on there? No one should be driving this anywhere. You're not tyre safe. It's quite weird. People coming up to me in school saying I've seen you on the telly or sometimes even just people on the street. <laughs> If I had to choose between modelling and singing, I would choose singing because when you sing, you can sing like forever if you think about it. My nan's a singer, my grandmother on my mum's side, lots of them sing and dance and so that must be something genetic. But I think when you grow with it in the family, and you have it around you, it just develops it in you more quickly or it becomes a, a much stronger part of your character and personality. There you are. Yeah. I was back in Samantha Mumba here. It's the sort of song you could sing, isn't it? Yeah. I do want the whole mix that she's done, like, I want to do the singing, I want to do the West End, I want to do backing vocalists. But then I also want to be like an artist in myself because I play the guitar as well. So I could have an extra strength that makes me go a bit further. With Kayan's dream job at stake, her and her mum are making the 400 mile round trip for the casting. It would be really lovely to get the job because it's a music video. It's quite nice to think that I could go in and wow them and hopefully I'm what they're looking for. Also attending is agency all-rounder Jenk, who in a few weeks is releasing his own single. I'm so nervous. She was keen to check out the competition. We'll be able to learn so much and get some creative ideas. Anything that they're they doing that we think is them. interesting. Be better than them. Okay, let's stop there. Okay. What's the number one word? Humble. Don't want to be better than them. Um, They're not your competition. They're your friends. And you embrace. Videos. No, no, no. You embrace everybody into the group. That's what okay, I Cool Kid is about. Because it's not cool to compete. I, I apologize. Okay, let's try again. Despite the weather, the turnout for the music video casting is good. When I first started this agency, um, you had your theatre schools and you had model agencies. Boys used to do football, girls used to do gymnastics, but it's not now. You've got boys doing ballet, street dance. You deal with modelling, but the majority of work out there is commercially orientated. This is a young kid. They clearly haven't got a large budget, you know, and they want 20 kids. So anything I can do to help that artist of the future, it would be good for me as an agent and for my kids to be involved in that. How you doing, mate? You all right? Good, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so Cheng. Tyreek Clement. Um, the yeah. Tyreek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having turned on the charm offensive, Cheng's dance moves seem to be making a good impression too. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for that. With any job, it's about impressing the client. And despite being only 13, Tyreek has high expectations. The lead girl must have charisma, must be confident, must have a good singing voice, and I must feel some chemistry with them. What are you more nervous about, singing or dancing? Oh, singing. Yeah. The top end of my voice is pretty much gone, and most of the song's high. So. It'll be all right. I think it'll be fine. A cold sweat, hot headed believer. It's good that you find out on the day, because obviously you don't wait, but it's just not nice at the same time. Can we have a cayenne, please? If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. Having heard all the girls sing, Tyreek and his management have whittled it down to the final two. Amelia and Kayan. You do feel nervous for them. You do feel like you're kind of exposing them a little bit, but if Kayan didn't have the personality for it, she wouldn't be in there. 
With crystal in your eyes, you and The final decision will be made on whose voice blends best with Tyreek's. The way you move and jump around, twist and shout out loud, girl, just you and me, just you and me. The person we have chosen is. Kyle. Congratulations. Oh, well done, honey. Oh, that's so exciting. You pleased? Yeah. Bye, well done. Nice to meet you. It's hard to send people home, and you have to get thick skin because it's not an easy industry. You're going to get thrown back. People are going to say no to you, so you just have to brush it off and then go for the next one. I think I was the best. <laughs> but then. But then they just didn't choose me. I was like, why? Out of all of the kids, why not me? I stay calm about it, and if I don't get it, like, I don't feel sad or get angry or anything. Cause it's not about the money. It's not about the money. Every casting is not about the money. It's just about taking part. And spellings is like mm. castings. It's not about winning the um, spelling test. <laughs> Come on, let's show them. I got no shoes on. <laughs> Rob and I have both lived in London, and our life choice is to live down somewhere quieter and more tranquil. We're near the sea. It's just a lovely area to bring a kid up, and I think that's nice. Ta da! For Millie, her dream job is to perform on the West End, but living in Devon means that's tricky. Most West End performers live within an hour's commute of London. Millie, great kid, really, really good character, comes from a really good family of talent as well. If I was a client and I saw all that action, all that character and ability, I wouldn't care about where she lived. So what I thought would be a good thing to do is to bring her in and do a show reel for her. It brings their profile to life and hopefully that pushes her in the right direction. Come on. Knowing how far everyone has travelled, Debbie wastes no time in getting to business. I don't want you to have this big, girly smile. That's the face I want, you hear? Wow, you look beautiful. There are more opportunities up in London. There are better opportunities, let's say. And if something comes up, you know, bringing her up here, her working with Debbie, it gives her the, uh, the best start if something comes along. I think she's really natural and not in a contrived way either. She's really good and quite adaptable as good well. Star. I just want to get that across to the clients. She's got a chance to perform, then, then she will. She loves being on stage. So um, I would relocate for something that is important you know, to her, but I wouldn't just relocate just for her to go and get that job. Wonderful. That really deserved a high five. Ah, gotcha! <laughs> Well done, you. Been good. Great for her. It was worth it. Wasn't you have a nice time? Always entertaining. Yeah. She was better than I thought she would be. I just hope the clients do see that. I mean, living where she lives, there's only so much we can do, really. You've got a ticket. I told you to park over there. <laughs> oh, my God, Daddy, you've got a ticket. Yes. <laughs> don't sleep, OK, baby? In Leighton, it's lunchtime for baby Ornella. It's been several days since the shoe casting. Don't sleep, OK? Your food is coming. <laughs> Mum Amma yeah. and Dad Eric, who lives in Ghana, are waiting to hear if she's won the coveted footwear job. Come on, Nila. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hello there. It's Debbie at Busy Kids. Oh, hi. Just to let you know, Ornella got the job. Really? No way! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sunila. Oh, thank you. OK, I'll leave you with that. I will email you the details over. Well done. <laughs> Bye. All right, take care. Ah, we've got the job! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. This is brilliant news, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs>
Big designer brands are not always the best payers. <laughs> People think if they get a Burberry job, they're going to be getting, you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds. It just does not work like that. But they're the ones that raise your profiles, you know, and when you've got that on your CV, that's when you can start earning more money and that's when the big, big bucks start coming in. Are you ready? Yay! Sophia Webster's shoes are worn by Rihanna, Beyonce and the Kardashians, but today they're being worn by Ornella. How is she today? She's fine. How are you doing today? <laughs> She'll come alive, she okay. will. Yeah. What are you here for today? What have you got to do? What have I got to do? Posing my shoes. <laughs> It's an important shoot, so Sophia is on set to ensure everything runs smoothly. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I recognise you from your Instagram. Sorry, <laughs> I, I was snooping. <laughs> the concept of the shoot is hide and seek, and all that is required of the models is to stand behind a curtain. This is it. <laughs> Can you tell us exactly where you need us to be? Uh, if you could be here. To stand. Fingers crossed you can do this. Where are you going? Despite Amma's high hopes, Ornella has other ideas. Sadly it's not a toy, Ornella. Um, where are you going? We try to have a rough time scale, especially with the children, because you don't want them to work too long. You don't want them to stay too late either. So I think we're a little bit behind schedule. With the schedule slipping, it's time to move on to the all important group shot. Is that okay? That looks so cute. That's the next outfit. Hopefully, this shoe will go all right. She's ready to go. With everyone in place, it looks like Ornella is finally embracing the shoot. <laughs> we'll crop this out and we'll go with that one. It's super cute. Oh, I like this. Look at that one. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Are you happy with it? I'm really happy. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> We're here to impress you, so yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'm super happy. She's a star. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Did you have fun? We use the shoe on our website. It will go on all our social media channels as well. So okay. Instagram, yeah. Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. It's a wrap for the day. I'm glad we did it. And I think she did a great job. So I'm happy. I'm looking forward to the pictures. I'm so going to show it off to everybody. <laughs> People are going to have opinions about children being used in this industry, you know, especially babies, because they don't have a choice, you know. But this industry is so highly regulated, we cannot breathe without licensing regulations, everything adhered to. These, they are so well looked after and well paid in the process. <laughs> so, you know, we, we're here for, for a reason. I, we are the protection, we're the provider of work and the protection um, between clients and child. This is your captain speaking. We'll be arriving in Jenkville in three minutes. Thank you for riding Airways, Jenk. We are at the Matrix Music Complex, where like One Direction records, Five Seconds of Summer, The Vamps, Ed Sheeran. Oh, oh yeah. As part of a PR push for I Cool Kid, Jenk's parents are funding the release of his very own single, Lunchtime Rendezvous. I think when you have an only child, it is incumbent upon you, the parent, to find creative outlets for them beyond the boundaries of the home. Like, I know I'm very privileged. People tell me and I realise what I do is weird well i don't know if it's weird it's just different for my age because i'm around adults a lot wow. what's the goal with all of this effort well if he likes doing what he's doing and he enjoys the people he's surrounded by and it keeps him active fantastic can we speed it up a little bit yeah. if it keeps him busy when he goes into the teenage years where certainly there's a higher probability that you go off track um, then i think that's a, a great benefit of it as well but mostly it keeps him social and when you go through the awkward ages at the beginning of teens he will feel just slightly more confident having gone through the process that he's gone through. Do I teach you dad? Fingers? 
Knuckles. Wrist. Part of the Elbow. success of I Cool Kid will rely on the release of the single. With the first version in, it's time for the moment of truth. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> that's I can't believe they kept the row. Oh, Can we get rid of the row? No, I love that part. Oh, wow, that's what you did in the booth, so they kept oh, it. That was amazing. What do you think? I'm just scared how people will get it. Like, it's not a cover. If it was a cover and someone looks up a really famous song, then yours will come up. It's not, I'm not famous before it. So how am I going to get known? Because if you had a great catchy song and it really speaks to 10 year olds, your age group. But then I'm starting to not like Uptown Funk because people play it so many times because it's so good. Well, I hope we have that problem. Yeah, they're, they're like going to the love this. They're going to love this. Really looking forward to today. I can't wait. I know, th this is going to be massive for Cayenne, though, especially. Today, Debbie's agency has provided kids for a pop video, and Debbie and Dawn are here to show their support. Ready? So here we go. And for one busy kid, Cayenne, it's a big deal. It's her first music video. Um, it's quite a mature thing for her. It's not. It's not kiddie, is it? Really, doing a music video and singing. So. It's a big day. Five, six, seven, and snap. I've never like thought about being in a music video. It's like everything's coming to me, so it's it's pretty cool actually. It's also a big day for fledgling recording artist Tyreek. I just wanted to really do well and be a good video, and be successful, put me in a nice comfortable position. I have a nice wife, kids. I still live in Hackney, I don't really want like to move area. I just like have a nice normal life. I just have a healthier bank account. Be nice. In between takes, Jenk and Tyreek bond over common interests. So what's your song about? My one. Yeah. It's like yours, so it's like a girl who doesn't go to my school, but I'm very good friends with. And the only time you ever meet is lunch. When you go to lunch, it's so much fun. Something like that. Cool. Yours? It's about a girl. Yeah, it's about a girl. With the big duet next, Kayan is feeling a little self-conscious. Because you're both singing on the track now, mm -hmm. she's singing back to you, so it's like a magic little clock. You and me, tick-tock, it's about you both now ticking together, you know what I mean? It's like that time, that alarm clock's going off now, it's going to go off and you two together are just going to, you know what I mean? We're going to sing with each other and yeah. so you have to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon you'd be alright with that? You'd be comfortable? Yeah. You've got to sort of like be singing to the boy, yeah. bit of acting. Be good. I'm not really shy. I don't want to look straight into somebody's eye. It's weird. So I just sort of look to the side. So, so it looks like I'm looking in their eyes, but I'm not actually. You guys are warm now, Terry, you're too far away. You need to get close. Stop being scared of each other. Good. You need to smile when you're not singing. Think of something happy. Think about the f playing FIFA when you get home or whatever, yeah? Cool. Kyan was a little dolly, photographically amazing, got a little bit more confident, talking more, put her in for commercial, now she's here. I know I'll cry when I see the actual video, I know I'll be a mess. Kyan, bring it in, sing it to him, Kyan, sing it to him. How was that, my darling? You came across quite well. I was looking at his ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to make eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> Even if a few people know the song, it'd be it'd be good. I'd I'd take it as I've succeeded. I've always wanted to be on TV. It would be awesome. I mean, great. I mean, beautiful. You have to always look sharp. You can't turn out with like half your costume. You have to have it all, and you have to be full on and brilliant. On a scale of one to ten, on how fabulous I am, eight and a half. London Fashion Week is in full swing, and Jenk's mum, Carmen, has bagged backstage passes to film a promo for his website. Can I do that bit? Yes. Or the, that bit? Start from here, the top. Here are the Julian McDonald's. Okay, so who do I do that to? We're designer. You're talking to the camera. Oh. 
Hi everybody, we're here at the Julie McDonald Fashion Show. Yeah, uh, yes, I'm Julie McDonald. Welcome. <laughs> okay, bye. Go do some work. Listen to your answers and pretend to be interested in what they're saying. With his mum's voice ringing in his ears, Jenk goes celeb hunting. Are you like you're officially McBuster, not McFly? Everyone in McFly is in McBusted. Same people. Same people. And what about you? What do you listen to? Everything really pop from opera. <laughs> Good answer. And it's not long before Jenk is working the room, with his mum capturing every minute. I so you're up in Fashion Week at 10 years old, yeah. just doing better than everybody else. How old, how old was I when I first came to Fashion Week? Five. Five years old? Yeah. So you're a veteran now? He was sitting yeah. on my lap. Was he? <laughs> it was good to see you, man. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you, your uh, amazing exponential success. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Because like the whole point of I Cool Kid is to put up cool things. And this is really cool. You've dressed so many famous people. Who is your personal favorite? Probably Elle McPherson because she's got the perfect body for swimwear. Yeah. Do you know who Elle McPherson is? Let me think of someone a little younger. It's clear that today has been a huge success, but the plan to launch I Cool Kid will be on hold till Jenk returns home in the school holidays. I think the next thing to do is to completely finish the studio and then we're going to decide like co-hosts and stuff like that so yeah it's not 100% done and website has to come out still but we're getting there. Nice to see you again. Thank you, you too. It's been two weeks since Ornella's shoe shoot and her mum has been checking the designer's website daily. You see all sorts of superstars on her website, you know, like people like Beyonce and Rihanna and Rita Ora as well. So I'm really looking forward to these pictures. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? <laughs> Look at you, Bobby! <gasps> Is that? We have Anella. Yes. I'm looking at Scarlett Johansson. She's got like mm, 6,000 likes. Rita Ora as well, her pictures, she's got like 3,000 likes. Anella's on top. <laughs> 7,000 likes. I, I only get 20. <laughs> this is too exciting. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Anella! What do you think about the picture? Well, this picture is tight. I like it. She looks good. Yeah, she does, isn't it? It's perfect and very attractive. You're proud of your daughter, aren't you? I'm very proud, and she's smart. Hey, I love you. She definitely has a future <laughs> modeling. This is like something that we, we could keep doing. Hopefully, I need, mommy needs to work harder. Mommy and daddy, we need to work harder. So yeah, we'll take you to private school, okay? Yeah. For Jenk, the time has finally come to go to boarding school but he's not leaving without a few souvenirs. Oh my God, it's an oversized jank. <laughs> you had to bring two duvet covers and we decided to use the cartoon likeness of jank. <laughs> I think for I Cool Kid, uh, my mom's gonna email me pictures of stuff she likes and I'll like, and we'll email each other a lot. Your heartstrings are being pulled at every time you say the word boarding school. You feel like your son leaves at a point when he's growing up and you feel like he still needs you now, and maybe when he comes back from boarding school, he doesn't need you as much. This is the board that we're- The love board. The love board. We're sending Jenk off to school with this, and we put in the people that are closest to him, so myself and my husband, his grandfather, grandmother, uh, work that he's done, whether it was on Fortitude or Last of the DeMullins. They're never gonna miss us. We're gonna always have pictures of us everywhere. I'm definitely gonna drop a lot of auditions, cause after doing weeks of hardcore, six days out of seven, I'm so tired by that point. And so, it's gonna be much more different. Are we ready to leave? Okay. Bye, Will. And I think as an only child, the idea of being in a room with six other boys and bunk beds and the plays they can put on and the friends that they'll make for life, it's an incredibly strong draw. And so we have, taken months and months to get our head around it and today is the day that he will set off to boarding school. <laughs> it's hard. It's 
the little moments. It's not the big things. It's the everyday highs and lows that you share. And the joy of parenthood is that. The things that you see through your child's eyes that you would never notice, we won't see every day anymore. Since filming, Ornella is now walking and her Instagram followers are still growing. <whistles> Millie hasn't got a job in the West End yet, but is working regularly in Devon. Kayan has written her first song, which she recently performed in public. Jenk is loving boarding school and the iCool Kid launch is imminent. Tyreek is now a busy kid and has recently worked with Rudimental and Ed Sheeran. Thanks for watching, Natcha. Make sure you subscribe for more modern parenting.